were against selling in church. Go to John chapter 2. John chapter 2. John chapter 2, verse 14. Look, this is an important sermon. Because, you know, as, as our movement grows and new guys come in, you know, if they want to be part of the, they, they want to be part of our faith and like practice, it might be good for them to know what is our faith and like practice. You know, don't come in here with your little Sunday school, you know, and try to get us all to turn. Because here's what I've learned about influence. When people are doing right, they rarely try to influence others. You know, people are doing right, they usually want to keep that to themselves. But it's when people are doing wrong that they're just trying to influence everybody else. When people are getting backslidden, you know, they're trying to get everybody else like, you don't have to go soul winning. You don't have to go to church. You know, you don't have to do it. You, you're, they're never encouraging people like, hey, let's go soul winning. I love the guys. We've got guys around here. They're constantly, you know, walking up to people like, hey, you got to go soul winning with us. Hey, you got to show up to a Sunday night service. Hey, you got to show up to a Wednesday night service. But, you know, those people are few and far between. But, you know, what's real common? Backslidden people saying, you don't have to go to the Sunday night service. It's too much. Or really, because the Bible says so much the more as you see the day approaching. You know, it's like bad people always trying to influence, you know, and, and bring people down. But hey, hey with these pastors, let's make sure, hey, let's walk them, in the, walk them in. Let's love on them and help them. But let's make sure they're not bringing in, you know, some bad teaching and bad things that our movement never believed. We're against dispensationalism. We're against selling in church. John 2.14 and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and changers of money sitting. This is Jesus, of course. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers of money and overthrew the tables. And he said uh, unto them that sold the doves, Take these things, hence make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Look, you can walk into virtually any church in this country and they're going to sell you something. It's going to be some bookstore. They're going to be selling their CDs. They're going to be selling books. They're going to be selling coffee. They're going to be selling whatever. You say at Verity Baptist Church, do you sign anything? No, you know what? One of the things that makes us different from other churches is that we don't make the, God of, the house of God a house of merchandise. We sell nothing. Amen. You want a hymn book? Take it. You want a chair? Take it. I don't know what you're going to do with the chair. <laughs> you want a car? Brother Oliver? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, if you need a car... Somebody just volunteered a car. It, you know, it's not the nicest, but it's, it works and it's free, all right? So if somebody needs a car, let me know. But um, we'll, we won't sell you that either, you know? We'll give you, you need a Bible? Take it. You want a DVD? Take it. You, you know, whatever you need, take it. We don't sell anything here. We don't make the house of God a house of merchandise. And you know, these Baptist churches are selling, selling all their little coffees. And you know, they're always, always, they're always broke. You go to the churches, they're always just preaching about money, and we need money, and we need you to give. You know, it's funny how the churches that just give everything away, it seems like God just takes care of us financially. Amen. You know, I'm not saying we have all the money in the world, but you know what? We can pay the bills, and we can do the work, and we can continue to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord for it. You know, and I believe that God blesses the generosity of God's people. So we're against selling in church. That's something that makes us uniquely, the new IFB makes us uniquely different.